Hello world, this is Random Fix, and I gotta tell you guys something. YouTube is very confusing, especially when you're a new content creator and you cannot crack the algorithm. There's a bunch of videos on how to go ahead and get the SEO right, but guys, it's too confusing. I am not a computer programmer. I just like sharing my experiences and helping other people grow. And so in this video today, I'm gonna be talking about something called VidIQ. And basically it's a service that helps your YouTube channel grow by giving you the best titles, the best tags, and it's got a whole bunch of cool features. So you definitely wanna stay tuned for this video. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So vidIQ is the subject of the day, and I'm gonna go ahead and hop behind the computer, tell you guys some of the features that I like about vidIQ as I use this service and another service called TubeBuddy. So if you guys are looking at both platforms, you'll find a link down below in the video description about TubeBuddy as well. So let me hop behind the computer. Let's do that now. Now let me go ahead and hop on to vidIQ.com. And on vidIQ, it has a bunch of celebrity testimony and it gives you some reasons you should sign up. I'm gonna cover that a little bit more in depth because I look at value versus features and see how everything correlates. So here are going to be the four available plans. So we have the basic, the pro, the boost. I have the boost. And guys, it is not $39 a month. It is actually $49 if you pay monthly. And you have the boost plus, And it has a breakdown of everything. So if you're going to get something and try it out, try the boost. As we're going to talk about that little boost feature a little bit later. And as you can see, with the boost plus, if you have a bigger channel, you are gonna go ahead and get monthly coaching, deeper analytics, and some personalized tips. And the way vidIQ actually works, it's an extension. So you have to download the extension onto Chrome and go ahead and relaunch the page once you log in and you'll see it working. And if you guys notice, I have TubeBuddy here. So TubeBuddy is a direct competitor with vidIQ. So if you guys wanna check them out side by side, I'll have a link in the video description down below. Okay, so let's go and upload a video. And if you want to confirm that you are logged into vidIQ, you can see this little toolbar up here and also this little play button right here. So let's pretend to upload a video. So here's a video. I'm going to go ahead and upload it. And if you notice, there's going to be some recommendations here from vidIQ. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this as we go through this video. The first thing I do is I go through and just give it a rough title. If your channel is monetized, just go ahead and go through these fields. Verify that you are not using any offensive language and let the video upload. While the video is uploading, I'm gonna show you guys some of the front end features. So these are the features that you're gonna be able to see on youtube.com, not the YouTube Creator Studio. So I did a quick search for random fixed drive cycle as I have a lot of drive cycles about vehicle emissions that this search right here has a score of 62 out of 100. So there's going to be a lot of competition in this particular field. It says that the random fixed channel is the top channel for this as I really try to focus on this. So let's grab this video right here. It gives me some overviews here. I can see that it's got a 45.6 out of 100 for the vidIQ score, top countries. And this is really important. If your top country has a different language, you definitely wanna know that. And it also gives you an SEO score. So these are the things that you can actually improve using vidIQ. Give me a description word count, how many end screens there are, and how many links there are to this video. So you get a lot of cool analytics. And it gives us some optimization checklists on this video. So you can see that my title here is too long. And this is another video here. And we can quickly see that this video over here has a better total score. It gives you the amount of views. And it lets you know what the top devices they're being used on. So most of the time it's going to be the phone. And 28% of the time it's actually the PC. So really great information. And this is great if you want to go and look at a competitor's video and sometimes what you can do too is you can actually come down here and you can copy all the tags by hitting this button right here so if you were new to the whole SEO idea and you didn't know where to start off with you can go ahead and copy some of the tags of your competitors 
And while that video is loading, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what you get on this toolbar right here. So you get daily ideas, and they actually email you this too. You got competitors, trends, most viewed. You can do a channel audit, and if it's your first time setting vidIQ up, this is definitely something you want to do because you'll discover that some of your videos have very few tags, and this will basically help you improve that. So this lets me know that month over month, I have a 2.8% increase. And subscribers, I almost have a 1% increase. Minutes watched month over month is 2.8. And we can see right here that some of my more popular videos are actually getting 13 views per hour. And if we go down a little further, it gives us a recommendation of videos that can actually use some work. And if you guys are looking at this, this is the improved version of my channel. And before having access to VidIQ and their academy, my thumbnails were very poor. Oftentimes, no thumbnails at all. I would have thumbnails like this, which were basically just a little snap of the video with some writing on it. And since I started using vidIQ and I learned about some of their techniques, you can see that my thumbnails have improved and it's been really helpful. Once you're logged into the vidIQ Academy, you're going to have access to these great videos. And honestly, the videos on vidIQ are really top notch and they have a bunch of courses and you can review all of these courses here. And they do a great job of explaining everything in depth. And now that my video is fully loaded, I'm going to go and attempt to write a very good title for this video. And this is an area I oftentimes struggle with because I know what the subject is. However, I just don't know how it relates to SEO. And VidIQ really has made lots of improvements, especially in the last month. So they have this AI right here for titles. So check out this title right here, the best toilet for a camper van. So it has everything down to a T. If I did this myself and I actually put in camper space van, it would not have the same kind of optimization as using camper van in one word. And it gives me a few of them. So let's just say I wanted to go with the top one. I'm going to go ahead and select it. And it automatically puts that in the title for me. Now I have a pretty good title or a great starting point. Maybe I want to go and change a few words around after I play around with the tags. And if you guys scroll down a little further, you're going to notice on the left-hand side right here that we have a thumbnail creation tool. So if you guys are like me and you're just starting out and you don't have access to Canva, this tool is actually pretty impressive. And it will do a good job of taking the still. And once you get the still frame in here, you're going to basically hit next. And you can come in here and insert text. It will make it the thumbnail for the video. And we have this thumbnail comparison tool. So if I do a search for camper van toilet, it's going to show me relevant videos that have similar images. So here's a toilet in another van. And this one right here looks really good as well. And what I like to do is boost every video. So if I'm going to be paying $50 a month, I want to make sure I boost every video. And when you boost the videos, you're going to get a lot of great recommendations. So as soon as you do so, you want to go and hit refresh and it will give you all the relevant tags. And the tags have scores here. Obviously, the higher the score, the more likely your channel is going to be able to rank for those. And if it starts getting into the yellow, those are definitely going to be recommended tags. Hello? Hello, Diane, are you a robot? Diane, it sounds like you're a robot. Sometimes with the AI from vidIQ, you are going to have to help out the AI. And I went ahead and selected Thetford Toilet myself. And we can refresh this now. And I'm going to go and get more relevant tags related to the particular toilet that I was using in this video for the camper fan. It'll also give you a little sneak peek of other optional videos that people have used on the side over here. I personally like putting in my own tags. However, if you want to go and just get a couple of ideas, you can look on the right and it will give you related topics from top videos. And this is how easy it is to add in 
the tag. And since we boosted this video, one thing that you'll notice up here is now we have additional content that we can actually type into the description. Because remember this, YouTube cannot watch a video. However, they can read text, titles, they can read descriptions, they can analyze thumbnails for text, and so it's really important to go ahead and get some keywords into your actual description. And you'll notice that we have our description words right here inserted at the bottom. And as I'm doing this, there is going to be an actionable score on the right. And right now I'm at a 35 out of 50. And my normal minimum is going to be 46%. So what I'll do is I'll go in here and I'll add more relevant tags that are related to this video and you can see the actionable score is increasing and with 493 characters my actionable score is at 44 and the way you can get this up higher is if you want to spend more time on it maybe get rid of some of the lower scoring tags and put some of the higher scoring tags in here now we can see our score is at a 47 and I'm happy with the score. What I can do now is I can hit save, add a proper thumbnail if you haven't generated one yourself. I like to use Canva and let's pretend this is our thumbnail right here. We've added that in and we are all set. And if you want to get your SEO score to be a 50 out of 50, on the right hand side you have this little term search and if we were looking for van toilets, it will give me more tags to put into the actual description here. And some of these tags might be really helpful with the main tags. As you can now see that the actual score is at 50 out of 50. So those little tweaks like that definitely make a big difference with the vidIQ platform. If you guys are enjoying the content here about vidIQ, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. As it lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job in bringing you guys actual valuable content that's going to help you guys grow and help your channel get to the next level if you guys are new to the whole channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as it's absolutely free it makes you feel good and it means the world to me and you guys will find a special coupon code in the video description down below with special links and we have this checklist here with nine available suggestions and by completing each one of these suggestions the video will rank better in youtube so overall, here's what we have about vidIQ. A, it's going to be expensive. B, it is the best as far as writing titles and descriptions and as far as their tags. If you can go ahead and just point it in the right direction, you're going to be able to score a 50 out of 50 and it makes a huge difference. So overall, vidIQ has a great solution for getting your title right, getting some of those keywords in the description also being able to go and maximize the tags making sure that we have a spell the right way that there are different variations of van or camper van are going to be inserted so you want to optimize the chances of this video getting found and if you want to do that vidIQ is a clear winner and the only thing that i think it lacks in is sometimes just the ability to go and do some of the extras for closed caption for example they don't have an auto translate tool so TubeBuddy actually has this so if you guys want to go and possibly grow your channel by an extra seven percent by translating your videos into other languages automatically with the push of a button check out the vidIQ versus TubeBuddy video down below if you guys got any questions about vidIQ please don't hesitate to reach out to me and I'll have a direct link to vidIQ with any coupons that I find out there that can help you save money and remember, if you're starting out and you have a budget, you don't have to keep this for a whole year. You can order it for a month, just go work away on it, learn all the little ins and outs and the way the algorithm works. And if you feel comfortable and you've gotten good at it, this is something that you can go ahead and cancel or just step down to a basic plan. And the basic plan costs you nothing. However, I definitely recommend boosting it at least for the first month so you see those premium features and learn how to go ahead and imitate those similar results. Thank you so much. I hope that video here about vidIQ helped you guys out and you guys are a little bit more informed. And before you guys hit that purchase button, you guys may want to check out the video I have 
in the video description down below, which is vidIQ versus TubeBuddy. And I'm gonna go over some of the different features of both because I'm gonna go and show you guys them working side by side and how they differ. So that way you can go ahead and make a better decision for yourself. So those will be at the end of the video up here somewhere or in the video description down below and make it a great day. Thanks again.